So in terms of the best performing sector for 2021, right now we're recommending to be overweight tech, consumer cyclicals, and industrials. If I had to narrow this down to one of those three sectors, I would say that industrials would be one of the top performing sectors for 2021. If I had to say what would be perhaps a close second, I think financials will probably be a close second as we think that interest rates will probably work their way higher throughout 2021 toward say 150 to 175 on the 10 year bond yield. So in terms of looking at international versus domestic indexes here in the States, I think the first consideration we have to think about is where is the US dollar going to be traded? Um, from our perspective, it looks like the US dollar is weakening at this point in time. So if we're gonna see a weaker US dollar, I would think that uh, emerging markets will probably outperform domestic markets in 2021. We're starting to see a rotation out of large cap into mid and small cap. And I think this is really going to be driven by the change of direction of interest rates. If, it, if interest rates are moving up, I suspect you're gonna see more mid and small cap indexes outperform your large cap indexes because there's a larger breakdown of financial companies inside of those mid and small cap indexes and hence, they should outperform in 2021. It will not be the year of large cap, it'll be the year of mid small cap. So our year end objective for the S&P 500 is 4225. Uh, for those that have been following our work for a while, it is a bottoms up model that we use to derive those price objective. Um, we've been using the same methodology for over a decade now, and uh, it has been a successful methodology to forecast year-end year -end objectives. It typically does a nice job looking out six to nine months, but 42, 25 is what we're looking for. And I remind investors, we don't believe that we're going to be going there in a linear manner. I think it's going to be a year where we're going to definitely see a, perhaps a weakness in the first or second quarter, and then a sort of strong finish at the year end of 2021. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.